The public often sees firefighters as having an exciting dream job, and in many ways it is. However, the video you're about to see shows a whole other side to being a first responder. The Los Angeles City Fire Department responds to more than 1,350 emergency incidents every day. We are first on scene to face challenging, dangerous, and draining situations, often surrounded by injury, pain, grief, and death. As a first responder, you are directly exposed to threats to your personal safety and wellness. You work long hours, frequently for days at a time, have poor sleep, experience physical hardships and other negative factors. Research shows that post-traumatic stress disorder and depression rates for firefighters can be five times higher than the civilian population that we proudly serve. In fact, every year since 2014, reported suicides outpace on-duty deaths for firefighters. Some years, more than twice as many firefighters have died by suicide than died while on duty. We also get injured and often mental recovery is a greater challenge than physical pain. And all of this takes a toll on ourselves and our family. As you will see in this powerful excerpt from the Nathan Espinoza story, where one of our firefighters fell through the roof of a commercial building into an inferno and survived to tell his story. It's amazing, but his birth certificate was a fire truck. His first birthday party was a fire thing. Even his walker was a fire truck. It looks like the fire is only confined to the one building. We arrived on scene and, you know, it was go time. It got real. And, and I, I went through, I went through the roof. Roger that, I'm staying in. 209, heavy fire blowing out, Delta side. Every step I took, I was burning up. I couldn't, I can't tell, tell you how much pain I was in. My whole body was, felt like it was burnt, like on fire. The recovering of the mental things on both parts have been hard because I want to take care of him. I want to ease everything for him and make everything better, yet I still have to deal with my own things that I'm dealing with in my head. And so it was it was hard sometimes to try and put on a smile and be happy and try and make him realize what he fought for. In this case, where we almost lost our member, we realized we could have done some things better. And that led us to change our uh, operational risk management um, policy. And that's what became uh, institutionalized through my message to all members, less than 10 days after Nathan had his near miss. As a first responder, you will proudly continue to put the needs of others ahead of your own. However, we need to remember that doing so takes a toll on us all. To ensure our individual and collective behavioral health, we need to watch for symptoms in ourselves and others, and to know where we can turn to for help. For a culture of people who often see asking for help as a sign of weakness, removing the stigma attached to behavioral health is crucial. If you or someone you know is in emotional distress or considering self-harm, including suicide, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK or visit the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention's website.